What's going on, everybody in America and around the world and on social media? Uh, we call this the quintessential casino. We call it you scratch. We call it a lot of different things when we travel as we go along our travails, along our path, down the road, and along our journey. We stop in different places and we buy the scratch-off lottery tickets that they have around Memorial Day while I was in a gambling mecca while I was in Las Vegas Nevada at the end of May Memorial Day weekend and I was there for StarCast Squeeze and her friend Melissa were in New England on a jaunt themselves that saw them bring home scratch-off lottery tickets from New Hampshire and Maine. And we are going to play the New Hampshire ones today. For those who did not have the benefit of seeing any of the promotional pictures for this episode of You Scratch the Quintessential Casino, New Hampshire edition, um, we are playing a $2 game called Money Bags. And we are playing a $2 game called Super 7 Eleven 21. Both of these are New Hampshire lottery games. Uh, both of them are relatively short. This is going to be a quick edition. I don't think this is going to be a 25 or 28 minute edition of the Quintessential Casino uh, as we have done. Because I almost said Quintessential Cuisine, and if you haven't seen an episode of that... You can see that on my YouTube channel, which is where this video is going to go after it runs here as you're seeing it now on YouTube, or rather on Facebook Live. Um, does anybody have a preference out there if you'd like to comment? Does anybody have a preference whether we first play Super 7 Eleven Twenty One? or whether the first of the two games that we play is instead Money Bags. While we're getting a vote and we're deciding on that, I will go into my binder of collectible Lincoln Head pennies. This book covers everything from 1909 to 1940. Kenny Casanova said 7-Eleven Slurpee action. <laughs> Slurpee action! requests Kenny Casanova. So the first game we'll play then is Super 7 11 21, which might be the quicker and maybe the least suspenseful of the two. I was looking at the games a bit and I didn't read the rules 100%, but I did just kind of um, familiarize myself with the games and I actually think it's a great choice to play Super 7 11 21 first. <clears throat> so that's what we'll do. What we'll also do is switch away from the 1910 penny, which is the oldest one in this book that I have, and the one that we've used uh, pretty much almost every time, but we've used it the last time or two and not one. So instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a pretty old penny, but it's going to be actually a 100th anniversary penny, and I'm going to pick the one that is the most rare. I think there were only 50 to 60 million 1919 Denver pennies minted. So I am going to take the 1919 D penny. Do you have eyes on that one? Yep. I'm it's... going to take that one and again, less than 60 million were ever made. God knows how many of them are gone, not in circulation anymore, uh, not quite being collected like this, but just gone. Just turned back into copper. Um, who knows how many of the 50 or 60 million remain, but I do know that one of them is right here. 100-year-old product, uh, a wheat penny. It's got Lincoln on the front like ours currently do, but for those who love pennies and want to see it, or if you're very, very young and unfamiliar, this is what the back of the penny used to look like. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Not it really. It says one cent. You got eyes on it? Yeah, it's, it it's doesn't really penny. come into focus. It doesn't really, yeah, not on this one, uh, because of the color. David Sharp says, hey, Joel, and Bill Lus Lust Garden said, hello from Panama, where they love the lottery, but not sure if they have scratch-offs. <laughs> Kenny Casanova said, cool, 1919. 
question mark and then he said i think my dad called them wheat pennies wheat yeah wheat i was just about to say there are some uh, shards of wheat some grains of wheat um some leaves of wheat what, what would you what would you call a stick of wheat yeah. where's i'm a city kid so i couldn't tell you what uh what it is but yeah the wheat pennies for sure uh lincoln head pennies they say one cent on the back just so you know what you're getting yourself in for bill lustgarten wander lustgarten does a lot of traveling himself currently in panama i hope everything finds you well there i hope that works out for you uh, i hope you stay there just exactly as long as you want to and uh yeah look into it if they have lottery for sure feel free to send something along um we've got a couple of episodes we do have tickets beyond this uh, i guess it's a great testament that we do not have a gambling addiction because these have been in the house since late may right. and it's now early august which means at the very least we went the totality of june and the entirety of july uh without scratching these so that's good to know uh so david sharp said let me know when you come back to Asheville. i got some north carolina scratch offs for you i know who david sharp is now i believe he's the security team member that i met when i worked for micro wrestling all stars uh at the Asheville civic center which is a historic wrestling venue in the time since i've been there and met dave just a week or two ago i was watching wwe network and uh and there was a pay-per-view from Asheville. i can't remember like 91 david sharp said medic but yes oh okay i saw that yeah i didn't yeah okay i thought security but that's cool i knew he was in a uniform though awesome david awesome that's great um thanks for being in touch staying in touch you're on facebook uh and yeah i hope to see you again uh we're returning to the same connecticut venue that we ran a few months ago we're returning there next month so we are going back to certain venues so uh so it could only be a few months before we make it back to Asheville. and i hopefully hope that that's the case david sharp said fall brawl question mark yes it could have very well been fall brawl up in the booth with eric bischoff was missy hyatt and johnny b bad i remember that but now that you say fall brawl you probably are well aware that that pay-per-view was held there and yeah that makes sense it was rick flair coming back to the company uh yeah paul orndorff maybe was debuting uh at least on pay-per-view maybe maybe not but he was there against cactus jack and uh man mountain rock was out there max Payne, i guess playing the national anthem and whatnot so if that was fall brawl then yeah i just watched that a week or two ago and when i saw that it was from Asheville, it was super cool to see the balcony and everything you see it with your own eyes uh you well you see it originally when you're watching that pay-per-view in the early 90s as a kid and then you're there working there which i don't think i was there with ecw so working there for micro wrestling all-stars was my first time and then to go ahead and just want to watch something randomly on the network you're not watching it because it's the Asheville civic center but you pop it in and there it is so that's awesome um so this game super 7 11 21 uh reveal a 7 an 11 or a 21 in any of these six games win the prize shown for that game reveal a super symbol in any game and win double the prize shown for the game each game is played separately all right let's see what we got in game one Scott Wilder said, are you excited about FanFest 8? I'm super excited about FanFest 8. Absolutely. Can't wait to go back there. And as a matter of fact, we're playing New Hampshire today. Next time we do one of these, we're going to play Maine. After that, what we're going to play is Rhode Island. And it's, I want to say, $15 worth of tickets. It's something like three or four different tickets. So it's going to be a big episode when we do Rhode Island. And those tickets were acquired... At the very end of our visit a month or two ago, FanFest 7, we got those tickets on our way out of town. So uh, not the next show, that one's Maine, but we're going to keep it in New England after Maine, and we're going to do a Rhode Island episode with after FanFest tickets uh, coming up here on Facebook Live. Uh, we've got a 13. We've got a 19. And we've got a 3. None of those are 7, 11, 21, or super. Just different numbers, a 13, a 19, and a 3, so no winner in game 1. Let's keep it random, and let's move on to game 4. Let's stay on the left side of the ticket, but move down a bit. We've got a 30. We've got a 12. 
And we've got a 29. So no uh, dice in game four as well. Two down, four to go. Let's move over to game six. Get Nick, off the left side of Nick the French said, well, well, well. And Kenny Casanova well, said, well, well, Nick. Which of those numbers are the preferred ages for Jerry Lee Lewis's women? 7, 11, or 21? Let's hope 21. Let's not let the truth get in the way of a good 20, 25, and 4. 20, 25, and 4. Mm. First half of the ticket, no bueno. No bueno. Let's go to uh, game three. We'll stay on the right side of the ticket. We've got a 14. We've got a six. Yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more action in this next game. Money bags. We've got a 14, a six, and a 22. So as you can see, we've played both sides. Right? For the politicians out there, we've played the left side and we've played the right side. But we haven't done the center yet, top or bottom. But left, right, out of the way, those four games are gone. There's no action, no win, no DJ, no dice, no time for love, Dr. Jones. We got a 23. We've got a 1. And we've got a five. With only one game to go, I'm going to ask all of you great people to QC this, this ticket. Look at the five games that have already been played. If you see anything that resembles a seven, an 11, a 21, or a super, let me know. But I think this one is pretty easy to govern. And, uh, and I really don't see anything that's going to resemble any kind of win, any kind of contribution, donation to St. Jude's, nothing like that. But... If you would like to donate to St. Jude's and also win some unbelievable merchandise, some collectibles from the world of professional wrestling, from the 80s, from the 90s, and from the years 2000s, please stay in touch on my social media and find out when the upcoming impending auction is going to be held. We did one about six months ago around February. Baseball cards did it on Twitter raised about $200, right, Squeeze? For St. Jude's. We're going to do better than that this time. Uh, Squeeze and I invested in some inventory that we got from Mr. Coliseum. Some great wrestling stuff. We want you to have it, and we want St. Jude's to have the money that you put in for it. So uh, stick with us and find out about that. In the one spot, we've got 28. In the middle, we've got 18. And at the end, we've got 16. Ooh. No sevens, no elevens, no twenty ones, nothing super about this ticket. Squeeze. You're looking too, right? You're seeing it through your lens? I already zoomed. Nobody's jumped in on QC no. and said, hey, hey, wait a minute. What about game number something's a winner? Nope. Rip to shreds. $2 well spent in tax money to the state of New Hampshire, which if there's anybody out there that knows the nickname for the state of New Hampshire, please feel free to let us know in the comments. Money bags. There are 15 different diamonds with dollar signs in the play area. Do you see them? Mm -hmm. You see the 15 different diamonds? Yep. Now I'll tell you about those. Scratch that play area and count the number of those dollar sign diamonds that turn into money bags, money bag symbols in the play area and win the corresponding prize in the prize legend only the highest prize is paid that's pretty obvious and you can win anything from getting your two dollars back which would take three money bags out of 15 to converting all 15 dollar sign diamonds into money bags and if you do that you will win the grand prize on this two dollar ticket of twenty thousand dollars all right. 
If I were playing this alone, had all the time in the world, bored out of my skull, bored to tears, I would get my random number generator on my phone, which I could use because it wasn't being used to record me because I was all alone. And what I would do is set it to pick a number from 1 to 15. I would name these 1 to 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, 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 15. And I would do it in what or whatever order the random number generator told me to. Um, that's just how I'm wired, and that's just how I roll. Um, but instead, with all of you great people, I am going to just randomly pick. Kenny Casanova did thumbs down and said New Hampshire, screw Hampshire. <laughs> and Brian McAbee said the Granite State. The Granite State, that sounds about right. I know there definitely is a state out there that is the Granite State, and if he says that that's New Hampshire, then who am I to disbelieve? I agree with that 100%. The middle, uh, the middle dollar sign diamond in the play area. The one that I would, if I were doing this on the random number generator call, number eight. The one that is center row, center position. That did not come back as a money bag. That came back as a diamond, which it kind of was in the first place. I wonder if some of these will come in as dollar signs, which they kind of are in the first place. But we need them to be not dollar signs quite. We need them to be money bags, which are bags that have dollar signs on them. We're going to keep an eye out for that. And hopefully we're going to hit 14 of them. And hopefully the first of those is right here in the bottom left. Tom Sieb said, what a pleasure meeting you in Vegas. I pledge $10 for St. Jude for the autograph ticket if it's not a winner. Shut up. Well, we thank you for the comment. We keep a log of kind of what time it came in, but I'll be able to remember. But thank you so much. We're going to document that. We're going to hold you to it, and we're going to make arrangements, but look how fucking crazy... Whoops. Look how crazy life is just as you were giving your comment and before you even got to the donation. But while you were saying Vegas, we came back with a money bag right when you were saying Vegas and making that donation. So some good karma, some good vibe. I do appreciate it. Uh, if this is a losing ticket... I will definitely find a way to autograph the back, and we will definitely make an arrangement to turn that into $10 that St. Jude has now made today, thanks to today. Uh, and that wasn't even the point of this um, on a losing ticket, so that's great. Thank you for that. Um, so we've got one. Right above it, we've got a piggy bank. So, so far, a diamond, a money bag, and a piggy bank. How many money bags do you need to get? Three to break even. Okay. Yeah, and if you get zero, one, or two, it's a losing ticket. Adam Lee said, still extreme. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, Briz. Wow, I'm kind of wishing it was diamonds that paid off as of right now, because we do have our second diamond. Um, so, so far, only one out of four is a money bag. Wouldn't it be crazy? I mean, I hate for this to happen. I don't want... I'm not going to... I shouldn't say it, right? Yeah, I'm not going to... Squeeze taught me about jinxes when we first started going out. I never believed in them before that. So much of the time she is right about you can jinx something by saying it out loud. So I'm not even going to make my observation. Just going to hope for the best. Bottom row, center spot. Is a safe. A safe under a diamond. So not necessarily safe at second, but safe as in a vault. What about right here? Right here, to the right of the money bag that we opened up, when brother was talking about making a St. Jude donation and meeting me in Vegas, right to the right of that money bag is another money bag, which means the next one will come in for a break even $2. But I don't want to even dwell on that, because good as that is, that's a jinx because we want to give as much as possible to St. Jude's, so we want this thing to hit for four or five digits. We're not looking to break even and get our $2 back. But so far, two money bags, and we still have nine spaces to go. And just to the right of the piggy bank, we have another piggy bank. So we've got a piggy bank on top of a money bag, and then a piggyback on top of a money bag. You have two of everything except the safe. Ah, that's another good point, right? As if it was like concentration or memory or whatever, right? Yeah, 
We've got two of everything except the safe. Watch the safe come back now. You know what I want to do? I want to open up to the right of the safe and see if there's another safe to the right of the safe in spot 14. There is not. There is a clover. Neil Jones said, My mom won one million on a scratch off ticket. Stop Joel could be next. Stop not on it. this one. You can only Stop win up to twenty thousand dollars. A million dollars on a scratch off ticket. Ah That's still like like favorite thing that When I was putting happened. together first, last and security, move in money to live with squeeze for the first time a few years ago. Um, I played a $5 scratch off and it came back for 250 bucks and I was stoked. I took the whole 250 bucks and I threw it right into the kitty and it helped me move in with you, right? However soon earlier, mm -hmm. a week earlier, a few days earlier, whatever 250 bucks was, was the part of. Um, but I always uh, remember that that was part of the first last in security was 250 from a scratch off. All right, this clover is no good unless you're eating Lucky Charms. You got your blue diamonds and your purple horseshoes and your green clovers. Except for that, it's no fun. Um, last one in the center line is a necklace. See it there? Mm -hmm. Center right. We're going to do the last one in the bottom line because Stone Cold said we are all family playing this together. Brian McAbee said I won $100 off a scratch-off one. Awesome. Awesome sauce with greatness gravy. If you hear um, chaos in the background, that's Little Kitty Chaos. Uh, if you love your social media and you adore felines, uh, she somehow makes herself adorable and makes a nuisance of herself all the time. Uh, you can't see that in real life all the time, but you can see it on her Instagram, Little Kitty Chaos. That's Little Kitty Chaos at Instagram. Follow her. Get her up to 500 followers. I'll never hear the end of it. So we've got a chest. So all that's left is the top row now, right? We've opened up 10 out of 15. And what do we have so far? Two money bags? Mm-hmm. Now we're going to do the top line. It is a wad of scarol. A little scarol and beans for you, but no, no real money, no money bags, just fake cash. Another clover. Neil Jones said, pick up my mom with the blown up ticket she won on. They took for the Mass Lotto website. Wow. And he sent the photo along? No, he's just saying. Oh, sweet. Sweet, Neil. You can't send photos in this. All right, I hear you. Another safe. We've got two left. A wallet. Boo. And this one here in the top right. Right? Yep. Top right. This is either gonna be the one that gives us our third money bag and we get the $2 back for this ticket, or we're gonna QC this, and if it's only got two money bags, we're gonna QC that prize legend, and it may be a losing ticket. And it is another necklace. Ooh. It is another necklace. Let's QC this ticket before we jump out of here tonight. I want to thank you guys for viewing tonight. The auction is coming up. Uh, keep it here to find out when that's going to be. Keep it here on Facebook. If this only has two money bags out of the 15, and if two money bags is not good enough to get anything back on this ticket, then um, the silver lining is that this becomes a losing ticket that we are going to absolutely get a, and thank you again, a $10 donation to St. Jude's 4. Um, so we're going to work all that out, and if the best that we can do and the least that we can do tonight is to turn this into $10 for St. Jude's, then that is my honor and my privilege to be a part of. Have a great rest of your Sunday night, everybody. Have a great week ahead, great start to August, and we will see you back here very soon 
if we don't do the auction first, we'll see you here for the State of Maine edition of the Quintessential Casino. Have a great night.